What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about libav. So what libav is, and I'm reading directly from uh, libav.org, it's a friendly and community driven effort to provide its users with a set of portable, functional, and high performance libraries for dealing with multimedia formats of all sorts. It originates from FFmpeg codebase, but it goes its own ways these days, providing its users with reliable releases and a clear vision on how to go forward. So as many of you know, I do my, my screencasts here uh, usually with FFmpeg. However, I'm finding that these days FFmpeg is kind of unreliable, and by that I mean um, Oftentimes I compile FFmpeg from a fresh git pull and you know there there'll be a lot of issues either with audio, um, severe, severe video lag, um, and the list goes on and on. So I found out about Live LibAV, in fact, in the uh, Ubuntu repositories and even in Debian, uh, the FFmpeg package is deprecated and they're replacing it with LibAV. In fact, um, I'm running uh, this particular screencast off of a default uh, lib off of the default libav package found in the ubuntu 1204 repos as well as the uh, x264 package found in the ubuntu repos so um, i've showed you guys how to compile ffmpeg and x264 and all that other fun stuff uh, to do a screencast you know um, fresh from git before but i'm gonna show you guys a really easy way now to use a more current and up-to-date version of a library that's um, replacing FFmpeg and um, will allow you guys to also make a screencast. And I'll also include a, a copy of the current screencast script I put together and I'll explain it a little bit as well. So if you, uh, you can do this through terminal but you can also just open up the software center if you are in Ubuntu. So when you go to search, just type in libav. Actually, you know what? A V C O N V rather. There we go. And it's this package here, libav tools. So you can install it from here or do or simply do a sudo app get install libav tools. And then the other package you'll need is x264. Uh, and then there it is right there. So you can hit install or if you're in a um, and you're in terminal, you can just do sudo app get install x264. Now in terms of the script, let's see here. This is the script I'm using. The only addition to this would be, um, I think I would do dash B and then 64K, yeah. We'll save that. Okay, so it's um, this is what the script would look like. It's AVCONV, and then right here we're using ALSA for recording audio. Um, what we're doing as well is we're doing we're setting the bit rate to sixty four kilobits per second. Um, X eleven grab. That's what actually grabs my desktop here. Um, I'm setting the frame rate for 30 frames per second. My monitor resolution, I'm using an LED monitor, so it's 1920 by 1080. It's full uh, 1080 high def resolution. Um, we're, we're using the uh, container, the X264 container uh, for the video codec. And then we're saving it in the MP4 uh, format. Um, and that's pretty much it. The basics of this particular uh, code. So what I'll do is I'll include a link so you can download it yourself in the description. All you would really need to do is change the monitor resolution right here to whatever your monitor is and go into your particular sound settings and make sure under input you know you've got your current um, microphone selected. I've got a go mic. It's a condenser microphone that I use for audio and um, for my webcam, I have a HD webcam, and it's uh, an HP, an HD 4110 to be exact. Picked it up about a year ago. It's a decent webcam. 
I use GUVC view to capture this area right here. And of course, I'm gonna get this question, but um, I'm using elementary OS Luna. Hopefully, very soon, uh, or very close to a stable release. And um, that's about it. So just wanted to give you guys an update. It looks as though if you want to do a screencast or kind of put something together sim uh, similar to what I have right here, you don't have to go crazy compiling FFmpeg anymore. You can get something that's kind of more up to date that's being worked on on a more regular basis and you can use um, uh, libav. So uh, once you get that script, uh, once you download this script, um, very similar to my other video, you know, call it whatever you want. Um, you know, I actually call mine capture. Uh, okay, and then what you're going to want to do and you know what else I'll do? I will... Uh, I'll get this going. Okay, so you want to do a chmod plus x and the name of your script, which would be capture. Hit enter. Now that changes this to an executable. Now we want to move it uh, into our uh, usr slash bin directory so we can um, basically uh, call out this program to run from wherever we are. So the way you do that is uh, sudo. Um, MV, that's the move command. What do we want to move? Um, we want to move capture to forward slash USR, forward slash bin, forward slash, and then it's going to have you hit uh, enter. It's going to ask you for your password, supply your password, and that will um, move the, uh, the script here into your USR um, bin directory. So all you've got to do is open up a terminal at that point, we're just going to quit this. If you want to run your script, you simply type uh, the name of it and then hit enter. And it's going to run the script. And now to stop uh, the screencast, all you're simply going to do is um, hit control and C on your keyboard um, after selecting the terminal and it will stop recording your screencast. Um, anyway, guys, hopefully uh, this video was helpful for those of you who want to do some screencasts. Um, basically, again, same as my other video on, for, on FFmpeg, then the very next step I do after um, recording the screencast is I go into OpenShot, I add in a fade in and fade out animation, and I um, change it to a WebM format, um, which makes it a little bit uh, more YouTube friendly. So. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I've got a couple more that are coming uh, on the way. Hopefully, you guys uh, are sticking uh, sticking with me. I know I don't put videos out too, too often, but I'm really going to try to commit to doing that more. I know I say it all the time, but um, I'm going to try to put out at least one video a week. I want to do a, you know set a tangible goal, and I think one video a week is very tangible. So, um, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will link... Uh, um, elementaryos.org if you're interested in the distro I'm running in the video description. I'll also put a downloadable link to the um, libav uh, script I'm using to record my screencast in case you want it. I'll also include a link to this particular wallpaper which I found. Um, this is the default wallpaper in Luna but I found uh, one that includes the elementary icon here in the middle which is uh, quite nice. I like that. So I'll include a link to download the wallpaper as well. So once again, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with uh, your friends, um, follow me on Twitter. All of my uh, social media um, links will be in the video description as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and we will talk to you next time.